Hi friends. So today we are going to see the uses of the light. So first use of the light is measuring the horizontal angles, measuring the vertical angle, measuring the deflection angle, measuring the magnetic bearing, measuring the horizontal distances, finding the vertical height, finding the difference of elevations, and arranging a line. So major use of the light is to measure the horizontal and vertical angles. Along with this, we can get these things also from the light. So first we are now you are going to see the various types of third light. So basically the two types of third light, first is a transit third light and second is a non-transit third light and vernier third light and micrometer third light. Size of third light is defined according to the diameter of the main horizontal graduated circle. In engineering, 8 cm to 12 cm third light generally are used. Now, before going to start the theodor light, we have to know certain technical terms. Okay, one by one, we are going to see what are the various technical terms. First is the centering. The process of placing the instrument exactly over the station is called as a centering. And centering we are going to do with the help of plumb bob and the optical plummet of the theodor light. Okay, and why centering is required? Before, because when you are going to measure the horizontal angle from one station, Actually, we have to transport that ground point to the exactly center of the instrument, that theodor light. Then we are going to measure the horizontal angle or the vertical angles. Next is a transiting. What is transiting? The definition of transiting like this. Rotating the telescope about horizontal axis in a vertical plane by 180 degree. That process is called as a transiting. What is face left and face right of instrument? So face left means when the vertical circle of a theodor light is the left side of the observer that that is called as a face left position of the instrument and when the position of vertical circle in theodor light is the right side of the observer that position of the theodor light is called as a face right. Telescope normal. The face left position is called as a telescope normal and the face right is called as a telescope inverted it. What is next is the changing of the face. What is changing of face? Bringing the third light face left position or bringing the horizontal vertical circle of the third light from left side to right side by the mean of transiting that process is called as a changing the face. Swinging of the telescope means what? Rotating the telescope about horizontal axis. Okay. In what? About the horizontal axis is called as a telescope or uh, swinging the telescope next and very important the telescope having the major axis okay imaginary axis or the lines so first we are going to see what is line of collimation line of collimation definition like that it is an imaginary line passes from the cross section of the diaphragm and intersection of the cross section of diaphragm and optical center of object glass and its continuation that line is called as a line of collimation second axis of bubble tube the line which is tangential to the axis bubble tube and bubble tube longitudinal bubble tube that axis is called as a axis of telescope axis of bubble tube the line which is sorry the axis of telescope definition is like that when the it is an imaginary line passes from optical center of eyepiece and optical center of object glass that is called as a axis of telescope and axis of bubble tube is that line which is tangential to the bubble longitudinal bubble tube that axis is called as the axis of bubble tube vertical axis the axis which showing the gravity line or plumb line that line is called as a vertical axis and next is a horizontal axis the axis which is perpendicular to the axis of telescope that line that axis is called as a horizontal axis and main and important thing in theodolight are the permanent adjustment what are the permanent adjustment to fix the desired relationship between these fundamental axis mean line of collimation axis of telescope axis of bubble tube vertical axis and horizontal to fix the relationship fundamental relationship of this axis in the third light that process is called as a permanent adjustment and least count means the minimum reading we can measure by using the third light and minimum reading we can take on one year that is called as a least count of a third light So next we are going to see what is meant by transit third light. Okay, transit third light. The third light means 
when the telescope is going to rotate about horizontal axis in a vertical plane by 180 degree that satellite is called as a transit satellite now we are going to see the various this is typical cross section of the satellite and now we are going to see the various parts of the satellite so first thing we are going to see the trivet okay the part which are going to rest on the tripod first that is called as a trivet then foot screw with the help, help of foot screw we are going to level the up, upper part of the satellite okay next is a tri branch so this is trivet foot screw and tri branch and this whole unit is called as a leveling head okay so whole unit is called as a leveling head then spindles so spindles are the axis okay so this spindles are the axis inner axis and the outer axis of the satellites lower plate so here you can see the lower plate and upper plate lower plate here in a horizontal circle lower plate having the main scale and upper per plate having the vernier scale then plate bubble so this bubble is called as a plate bubble and then this is the standard standards or vertical a frame which is which going to connect with the horizontal circle with the vertical circle and the telescope so this is called as the index bar which having the altitude bubble tube and tabular compass also so this is telescope which having the eyepiece object glass and the diaphragm so here is a focusing screw means if you want to get the uh, image clear image of the object in that case you are going to use the focusing screw this is called as a horizontal axis which is perpendicular to the vertical axis this is clamp screw with the help of this clamp screw you are going to you can we can control the movement of this telescope and here is a vertical circle vertical circle having also having the main scale and the vernier scale so these are the various parts of the satellite and this is, here is the plumb of when we are going to uh, set the instrument okay exactly over the stations we are in the process of centering in that case we are going to use a plumb of so this is standard frame already i have discussed the telescope vertical circle index bar altitude bubble and compass so next we are going to see how we are going to read the reading on the vernier of the satellite suppose here this is main scale initially what we have to do we have to set vernier 0 with the main scale 0 and after moving the plate okay after the movement of the plate we can see that main scale is going to move in that case if this 0 on the vernier scale it passes with the second line so here 1 degree divided into 3 part so least so list count on a main scale is a 20 minute so this one line is indicating indicating here reading 20 minutes so if this zero is going to pass this line the reading on main scale will be 10 degree and 20 minutes okay but whatever the reading which we cannot measure exactly this line lines are not coinciding to each other in that case we are going to see the reading on vernier so on vernier we are going to see that which line of vernier exactly coincide on the main scale so suppose this line is going to exactly coincide on the main scale line vernier line so this reading we are going to read that on vernier the readings were 0 minute to 20 minute because whatever the least count on the main scale that should be the maximum reading on a vernier so here if we, if we can if you can you going to read the reading so this is 10 minute 11 minute and 12 minute so this reading here 12 minute 20 second so total final angle will be here 10 degree 32 minute 20 second this like we are going to read the reading by using theodolite next lecture we are going to see next part we are going to discuss what are the temporary and the permanent adjustment in the theodolite